just play the damn thing. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, give or take, I don't, you know, I think it, was, I think it went up a few, cut two or three weeks ago. Uh, I demoed this pedal, this guy right here, which is the New X uh, Plexi Crunch. This is their Marshall Plexi in a box type of pedal. And uh, the response that you guys left uh, down in the comments section was really positive. Uh, in that video, I mentioned that I always get excited about Marshall in a box style pedals, which is absolutely true. I love Marshall, Marshall style distortions, you know, which is one reason why I wanted to do this video. And this one, I thought in that video, I thought sounded really, really good. A number of you left comments under that video that you would like to see a Marshall in a box distortion pedal shootout. So that's what we're going to do here today. Of course, we are going to include the Plexi Crunch once again. Uh, and I'm going to try to do these, you know, as of this recording, I've already done the shootout. So I'm going to try to do these, remember the order that I put them in. But if not, if it's off, I'm sorry. We have the Golden Plexi from Tone City. This one I really like. This one's really cool. But it's not. It's still not quite as cool as the Model M from Tone City, which is the big version of it. Uh, it's essentially a golden plexi. I think you'll hear the similarity of these. I you know, because I, you know you're going to see these two demoed side by side. I think you're going to see the similarity. It's basically the same pedal, just this is a bigger one with a boost in it. You know, boost circuit. That's basically the difference. I thought I would include this guy. Uh, this is the uh, the New X Fireman distortion. Uh, the, and this is a killer sounding distortion. The reason why it sounds as good as it does is because it's basically a clone of the Friedman BEOD Deluxe. Uh, you know, it sounds, I'm not AB directly with that pedal, but uh, you know, based on demos, what I've heard of it, this sounds pretty close. So as you can see here, this is basically, uh, this is like kind of like your hot rotted Marshall in a box. You know, so I thought we would include a hot rotted Marshall sound uh, in here to, uh, to mess around with and have some fun with. So then we went to the uh, Outlaw Marshall. Is that what this one's called? Oh, I'm sorry, the Deputy Marshall. Uh, the Deputy Marshall from Outlaw Effects is what this one is. Uh, I This was actually, I've had this one for several years now. I demoed it way back in the early days of my channel. Uh, I actually used this distortion quite a bit back then. I haven't used it in a while though, but I, I, uh, I do like this one. This is a good sounding one. I think from there, might as well check out how the you know how Marshall themselves interpret the Marshall on a box sound. This was this is the uh, the Governor distortion, which is kind of a JCM 800 style uh, Marshall sound as opposed to the Plexi as opposed to the Plexi sound. Uh, these were out like you know. In, you know, 90s, uh, you know, late 90s, you know, 2000s, that, that era. Uh, good sound of pedal. I almost included the jackhammer as well, you know, because that's more like a more of a higher gain type of Marshall sound. But one, uh, you know, I ran out of real estate on my display pedal board thing here that you guys are going to see, that you guys always see. And uh, I also ran out of power outputs on my power supply, so... And, and also, you know, the, mar the jackhammer is not particularly modeled after a specific Marshall. So uh, it's just kind of a Marshall, it was kind of a high gain distortion pedal by Marshall. You know, whereas the Governor essentially is inspired by the JCM 800. Speaking of the JCM 800, we are also going to demo the Hesher from my buddy Tony at uh, Pepper's Pedals. This one is cool. You know, again, this, this is another JCM 800 in a box style pedal. You're not going to be able to find this. I think there's only 14 of these in existence. I was really, really lucky uh, that Tony was willing to set one aside for me. Now, the story behind this pedal is that uh, you know he uh, worked, you know, he collaborated with uh, you know uh, with uh, I believe Shea Sterner at uh, this Heavy Earth Effects, and uh, you know Shea had there's something to do with the with the boards the you know the boards on the inside of them i think Shea had some of them left it, you know that he had gotten from tony decided to end up you know sending them back to tony tony went ahead and you know finished out the rest of these and uh you know these things didn't you know didn't last very long at all and here we are <laughs> so now it's in my collection and ain't moving it's a killer killer jcm 800 sounding distortion pedal you can, however, still buy a version of this pedal uh, through this Heavy Earth Effects, uh, and I will see if I can't link some link that down below 
uh, for you. I've not gotten to try that one out yet, but this heavy earth, you know, the, uh, you know, Shay's making some really, really, uh, some really cool stuff, you know, and they're, you know, right in the same genre, if you will, as Pepper's pedals. Quite, a, quite possibly my favorite Marshall box pedal. This is the uh, the Wampler Pinnacle Deluxe V2. Uh, not to be uh, to be confused with the Wampler Plexi Drive, which is also a Marshall in a box. This is more the again the hot rodded style. Uh, you know this one. You know this one's just got all kinds of bells and whistles, and there's a lot of different sounds you can get out of this thing, and it sounds killer. And last but not least. Because you know I'm a diehard Boss fan, we're going to hear what their Marshall in a Box sounds like with the ST2 Power Stack. This was my main distortion for a long time too, not long after it came out. This is a cool one. So, I know I keep repeating myself and saying that this is a cool one, but they're all cool. Like I said, I really, really enjoy Marshall in a Box style distortion pedals. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set all these things up. I'm going to play a riff into the looper uh, using my 1984... Let's see if I can get the whole headstock there. And there it is. My 1984 Kramer Focus 1000. Uh, this one is, you know, again, this is actually a legit vintage 1984 model. This is not one of the reissues that uh, are currently being made by Gibson right now. Uh, all original with the exception of the bridge pickup, which is a Duncan distortion. Basically what George Lynch has always used. You know, this thing does have an original Floyd Rose on it. And back then, these things actually did come with... Brazilian rosewood fretboards. This was the import model made in Japan. Back then, this was considered a student guitar. Now you can barely find these damn things. Like I said, they were made extremely well. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, I've, I've always, always kind of referred to these as the, the poor man's Eddie Van Halen guitar. You know, it wasn't a signature model, but it was kind of, you know, it was, it was pretty close to Eddie's signature Kramer back in the day. You know, one pickup and if you will. Didn't have a crazy paint job and all that kind of stuff, but again, along the same lines. So, I've talked enough. Let's hear how all these things sound.
I went into the, the, the front end, the clean channel of my Laney IRT Studio, same amp that I demoed, that I do 99% of my pedal demos through, uh, if you're wondering, because I forgot to mention that in the beginning. So let me know down in the comments which one your favorite was, which one you hated the most. Uh, if you liked them all, if you hate them all, let me know your thoughts. No right or wrong answers. I know my favorites, but I'd like to hear what yours are. Adios. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.